I think that overall the Manning camp was just a great experience. Number one, I was telling everyone else here earlier, it's just I think it was more of an opportunity for me to just showcase my talents. Number one, and number two, just have an opportunity to meet other quarterbacks from different camps. You know, I, I met guys like David Gardner, my roommate was Connor Shaw, so I got the Big Ten over here, SEC. My other roommate was David Ash in the Big Twelve, so it was just an opportunity for me to branch out and, and meet a whole bunch of new guys. And I think that was the biggest experience that I took away from it. And other than that, you know, guys are going to write their own stories. You guys are going to write your headlines around it. Everybody at the camp performed extremely well. And just happened to be that I won the uh, skills competition, but it was a great camp overall. Just keep that. Those guys who are obviously accomplished a lot. Taj was a Heisman contender for good reason. But a guy like James Winston hasn't even thrown a pass in college yet. He's gotten a lot of hype this off season too. What do you know, guys with a little more experience like you, what do you think about it when a guy comes along like that? He hasn't really proven anything on the field yet, but people are certainly talking a lot about it. The media controls that you guys want to write. You guys are the you know, staples of college football. You guys get the right that you want to write. But, uh, you know, I really don't know much about uh, Mr. Winston and everything that he's doing up in Tallahassee. But, you know, I'm just focusing on my game. Tom's obviously deserves all the accolades that he's getting. He's an unbeatable quarterback. And I'm, I'm sure uh, the guys over at Evans will make a, a right move here. You, you get, uh, not necessarily just about him, that's, uh, you get kind of curious when you hear some buzz around a guy that you haven't heard a whole lot about before or seen much of? I'm not really concerned about that because at the end of the day, I was at that point in my life too. So, um, you know, I think the biggest thing is just to stay focused and stay focused on the season. Is that kind of advice you would pass along as somebody who has been through that to, to somebody who's coming up? Definitely. Just, you know, let the media do what the media going to do. They're going to ignore you. They're going to love you. So, it's either on whichever side of the boat that you're on, just stay focused and stay on the same path that you've always been on. With you having a new offensive coordinator, does that make a difference with the players or the other teams? Knows it any different about your offense because you have a different guy as coordinator now? I don't think so. I think uh, Coach Cole has done an unbelievable job of making sure everyone feels comfortable with the new offense that he's been implementing, as well as keeping the same stuff that we're doing uh, that we did the previous year with Coach Fish. So I think that guys really uh, understand that and really took a great grasp of what he wants. And Coach Cole is a great guy. He, he loves to throw it, he loves to run it. So I think he'll fit for us. So what does he want? What is different about the offense?